Hello, this is Tim Hellman. And Tracy Yee. And this is Movie Talk. Today we're going to review the movie The Theory of Everything. The Theory of Everything is the Oscar contender biopic about renowned physicist Stephen Hawking and his relationship with his wife Jane Wilde Hawking. It's based on Jane's memoir, Traveling to Infinity, My Life with Stephen, and focuses on her point of view of their lives together. The film stars Eddie Redmayne as Stephen Hawking and Felicity Jones as his wife Jane. It was directed by James Marsh and written by Anthony McCartan. Hawking approved of the film's production and the finished product and even provided his equalizer, computerized voice for his character in the movie. But it is based on her memoir, so it's more from her point of view, I think. But he obviously liked it, so that's one I haven't heard a lot of complaints about. And historical I, and actually, <laughs> well, I mean, no, he approved of it. And I think that they both, both Jane and Stephen, um, worked, didn't work with him actively, but met but them. They were yeah, they both were involved approving in Approving of things mm -hmm. at times. Yeah, because yeah, both Felicity Jones and Eddie Redmayne talked about meeting Stephen and Jane both, and it's her book. So mm -hmm. people didn't complain that it was historically inaccurate, but people did complain that it wasn't more about Stephen Hawking. I mean, it was about their relationship and how he and his physical condition and deteriorating condition, of course, affected their relationship. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, of course, it showed his pursuit of his degrees and, and, and things. But really, I mean, I they got divorced. I mean, so, I, I mean, they got, but they were married for like it's 20 not a beautiful years love or so. Story, yeah. Well, it was in the beginning, and then uh -huh. they really were together through. But I wonder how true that part of it is. Like, did he kind of cheat on her first? Because it's told from her point of view. <laughs> like, she could well, be no, making it look that way. No, because they brought in that. <laughs> third guy. Yeah, I mean, she, they were romantically interested in each other, but she never did anything with them until, until he after fell in he, love with, with the, the, his other nurse. Yeah. So I wonder yeah. if that's just the way she wants to present it or not. Maybe. That definitely puts her in the yeah. more but also, flattering light. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> yeah. And I think yeah. they also wanted each other to be happy. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, I, it didn't seem vindictive at all. He knew he wasn't able to give her everything that mm -hmm. she needed and wanted, and, and she knew he wasn't getting everything he needed. I mean, other than physical needs. So I think that they, they were both really mature about it. And then they ultimately did divorce. But I thought um, it was a great looking film. I wish it would have went like. more into the science. See, what? Discovery. But then, but it wasn't, <laughs> that's, that's the it wasn't, Hawking it wasn't a movie about, Stephen yeah, Hawking. his book. It wasn't it was really about, about her him. Book. Yeah, yeah, that's what, but that's what I was yeah. kind of expecting it to be a little more about him. I'm glad it wasn't. Because he's top build and everything. Well, I think his character was primary in the film, but yeah. I don't think it needed well, to be... Well, he's the more famous one, but <laughs> obviously. But I mean, there's yeah. a similar criticism about Wild and about how people were complaining that it wasn't as much about the technical aspects of the trail. Oh, yeah. But it's like... But the <laughs> that's movie, not what the movie's about. Well, yeah. see, well, that's what I mean. Yeah. I, I think that it's the same argument. I'm sure the woman, Cheryl, um, the one about oh, yeah, the Wild, straight, yeah. I don't know if that trail's so much part of her life as it just <laughs> it wasn't was that journey. Moment. Yeah, yeah so I don't know if she's journey. an expert on that trail I'm saying. I don't think yeah. so. No, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's not. So I mean that's slightly different comparison. Though. I know. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, all right. But I mean, but people went to yeah. the movie hoping to see lots of footage about, oh, yeah. about the, oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. trail and it mm -hmm. was like, it's not. He was so well supported by his academic peers. Unlike um, the imitation game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the, the imitation game where everyone, you know, thought he was just them. crazy. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, mm -hmm. people were really. I mean, they, they were, and they recognized um, his, his brain power. Yeah. When she first sees him in the pants, and the, she well, that's her, when he's young. her friend who he is, and she's like, oh, he's weird. <laughs> I thought that was a good representation <laughs> yeah. of the way he was. Probably seen. She seemed to always get him. I'm kind of glad it wasn't about his theories. I like the little bit it was about their conflict in um, religion, religious. Mm -hmm. I like that, that was it went into that a little bit. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I liked it. I liked the acting in some, some parts of it. I thought it was a little too much of a great. Um, biopic, so it got kind of slow and long for me. Yeah, when like, they I like movies that focus more on a certain oh, okay. portion of life rather than such a broad. Well, it was for 20 <laughs> years and their yeah. kids and... and uh, I mean, I just don't usually find those movies as entertaining because they're so broad. Really? Yeah, long. And <laughs> I like to see the bigger really? picture and the and Yeah, the but I don't think story. it can capture it that well in a two-hour movie. <laughs> okay, well, they, they kind of advanced yeah. through a few, you know, hunks. I mean, mm -hmm. they didn't show every moment of 20 oh, years. Oh, no, no, no. But I would give it four stars again.
Yeah, I'd give it four stars. Yeah. I'd go with four. I think um, I think we're Yeah. 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 I like that it didn't downplay yeah, religion like Chris said and it just kinda they had a mutual respect for each other's yeah. belief. Yeah, well even from yeah. the very beginning. Because um, I've always heard Stephen Hawking is really um Well he's an atheist. A, and and really um outspoken about it, like how you know, Christianity is stupid and <laughs> so he didn't seem like he <laughs> was like that in the movie. I mean, I think you know. he uh, respected her. I mean, from the yeah. very first. I just saying I've always the quotes I've heard. It seems like he kind of looks down on people that believe in religion. But I have friends like that that are kind of you know you have to be an idiot to believe in the Bible and things like that. You know, you don't have any friends like that to talk like that. <laughs> um. Well, they probably wouldn't be friends of mine. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I am somewhat religious, so, and I still say those things to and me. And I am an atheist, but I don't <laughs> yeah. say those things to people. Yeah, I know. I'd never yeah. say that to you, Tim. Oh, I know, you wouldn't. I'm just <laughs> saying.